guys jumping right into this video. I'm using this Murray's Grease, and if you guys haven't seen this can, then you ain't black, or you don't have a black significant other, I guess you can say. <laughs> just kidding, you guys, but it is in Walmart. You can't get it from there. And I'm just going to start off dividing the hair into three se sections, just as if you was going to plait a regular plait. And then I'm using a, th a thin strip of hair because I don't want to put too much weight on her head. And then you're going to go ahead, just like you're going to plait the hair. And once you do just one little turn, you're going to put place that hair in between your fingers. And then just begin to start plaiting again and just pick up the hair. It's almost as if you was doing a braid. And you guys will get it, I guess, the more you see it um, in this video. It's very simple and very cute for a child's hair. Okay guys, once you get to the end of the plait, you can add beads. I decided to add beads because my girls love beads. And you just want to twist the hair up small enough to, to fit through the bead hole. And then once you get to the end of the beads or how many you want to put on, you pull the last one down and then just fold the hair over it and put a rubber band on there to keep it in place. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. You can wear it down or you can put it up, however you decide to style it. I thought it was pretty cute and it's less tension on the hair without the knot going around the top of the braid. Just very cute. Okay, right here, I'm starting on my oldest daughter's hair. Um, I'm just dividing the hair into three pieces and adding a strip of hair the same way I did in the first part of the video. Um, only on hers, I'm adding more hair because her hair is thicker. And you guys, I'm just gonna show you this technique over on all three of my daughter's hair. Because all of them want to be featured in this video. And you guys drop a comment down below in the comments area if you want to see me do kids hair on this channel. And right here I'm adding another piece of hair halfway through this braid just to add more length to it. And I'm just going to wrap that in and just start plaiting it in. And just keep on going all the way down to the length that I'm satisfied with. Okay, I'm all done with her hair, and this is the finished look. Here, I'm starting on my middle daughter's hair. I parted her sections a lot bigger because her hair is more fine than the other two. And I'm adding more hair because of the parts are bigger and the sections are bigger. And I'm just going to do the same technique and plait the hair all the way down. Here I'm adding more hair to this plait as well just to add a little more length and I'm just going to add it in and continue to plait it down just like I did in the previous part of the video. Okay, I'm at the end of this plait and I'm just folding the hair over and putting beads on. When I fold the hair over, it just made it easier to get the beads on the hair. And once I'm through, I will put a rubber band at the end. And I put six beads at the end of each braid. Um, and once I finish doing that, I will finish the whole entire braid by going down and cutting any like hairs that are just sticking out that are the weave hair. It, whatever you can tell is weave or whatever. I just go and cut it down. Okay guys, this is the finished look. It is very natural looking and very cute. And you guys can style it any way you want, up or down, like I said before. And this is the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys all know that sharing is, is caring. caring. So don't forget to share this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.